11. It will now be another two weeks before the residents of the Patricia Mobile Home Park will have a definitive answer on the future of their homes. Thanks for joining us. I'm China Green. KZI 9 Sports uh, reporter Connor McCarthy is here in the studio with us for a look at what is next for the Patrician. Connor. That's right, China. The Springfield City Council Chamber was a standing room only for the second time with people from all over the Eugene Springfield metro area voicing their opinions about the rezoning of the Patrician Mobile Home Park. The City Council listened to over an hour of public testimony with only one person in favor of rezoning the mobile home park. Congressman DeFazio even submitted a letter to the councilors in support of keeping the mobile home park zoned as low-density residential. But the common theme tonight among the speakers is that the state minimum to pay out mobile home park owners of $8,000 is not enough to the true market value of their homes. The owner can sleep at night knowing that he paid us the fair market value of the home. We go away with more than $8,000 to buy another home. If you don't do this, you're going to see the collapse of other mobile home parks. Representatives of the landowner verbally re rebuttaled saying the landowner can still close the Patricia Mobile Home Park at any time and redevelop it under the current zoning classification. And what's next for the rezoning application is now the landowner has until September 23rd to submit any written rebuttal of comments made during public testimony. Then the city council can make a decision at the next regular city council meeting on October 7th. But for now, the Patrician Mobile Home Park still remains in limbo with residents anxious about what their future holds. Reporting live in the studio, Connor McCarthy, KEZI 9 News.